obviously they're important just because they're organisms within an environment and they're interacting with other organisms and the environment itself and we would like to keep those interactions, those networks, those relationships as intact as possible. But also earthworms provide us with many functions and services that we rely upon that improve our quality of life. For example, they can increase the crop yield, they help with decomposition and help regulate the climate as well. So the main aim for us was to try and find the patterns of earthworm diversity, so the number of species, but also look at the abundance of the earthworms as well. And to do this using local scale data, but be able to predict across the globe. First step was to contact lots of earthworm researchers to ask them if they have data that they have sampled at various points in the past and then asked them if they would share that data with us. And once we had collected everything together, we ran our models and able to produce the results that we should use to make the maps at the end. So there were two main results. The first was that we found that in the tropical regions, the local diversity and abundance of earthworms was lower than in temperate regions. And this is actually the opposite of what you would find based on above ground organisms. The second thing we found was that it was mainly climate variables that were driving these patterns, such as things related to precipitation and temperature. So what it means is that locally, if you were to go and sample earthworms, you'd find more species in the temperate regions. But when we were looking further into the data, it became quite apparent that in the tropical regions, although you might find lower number of species with each sample you took, when you looked across the different samples, you're more likely to find different species. So the species themselves in the tropical regions are more localised. So across the region as a whole, we suspect that there's far more numbers of species in the temperate regions. Anybody, anywhere in the world, can go outside, dig a hole in some soil, and probably find at least one earthworm. And I think it's really cool if you can able to see, touch, and interact with an organism. And I think it makes it easier to connect with it and want to protect it, which you can't necessarily do with things like panda bears. I think what's also great is that we know quantitatively how earthworms are changing the environment and how they're making it better for us.